Hey everyone, most people have heard Earth referred to as the water planet. With that name comes the rightful image of a world with plentiful water. In photographs taken from space, we can see that our Earth has more water than land. However, more than 97% of Earth's water is unusable by humans and many other living things, which means that only about 3% of fresh water is left, and over 68% of it is stored in ice and glaciers, and 20% is underground. This means that only a small percentage of fresh water is available to quench the needs of everyone on Earth. Now keeping that in mind, we need to understand why the water cycle is so essential. First, let's explore its space. Evaporation is when water absorbs heat energy from the sun, which turns it into water vapor. Transpiration is a process in which trees release water vapor into the atmosphere. Sublimation is when ice and snow converts directly into water vapor. Condensation or liquefaction is the process of water vapor turning back into liquid water. Transportation when the clouds are transported by winds. Precipitation when water falls from the sky in numerous different forms rain, snow, and hail. Deposition when water vapor changes state directly from a gas to a solid by forming ice. Snow melt runoff when flows downward to form streams and rivers. Surface runoff when streams and rivers flow into the ocean. To make it look more realistic, I decided to perform an easy little experiment. We will need a Bunsen burner, a beaker, and a flask and some water. First, we fill the flask with water, and using the Bunsen burner, we start the evaporation process. Then we hold the beaker, placing it upside down on the flask. It can be very slippery, so make sure it does not fall down. Now, as water vapor raises to the top, and under the effect of the atmosphere cold temperature, the condensation or liquefaction will start inside the beaker. If you look very closely, you can see small water droplets form together, making big ones. The clouds are made in the same way but in the sky. If you wait long enough, we can see the water droplets falling down into the precipitation. This cycle of transformations sustains life and creates the ecosystem around us. However, we need to be very careful because the water cycle is slowly breaking apart due to climate change. So, be smart and act wisely. It's never too late to react. So, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and keep wondering.